this is number eight. It says a 6.55 sample of aniline was combusted in a bomb calorimeter. If the temperature rose by 32.9 degrees Celsius, use the information to determine the heat capacity of the calorimeter. So I'm going to draw out the chemical equation here. So I have 4C6H5NH2 plus 35O2. Um, I guess I'll put the, put the states as well. This is uh, liquid here would give me... This is a combustion reaction, 24CO2 in gas, plus 14H2O in gas, plus 4NO2 in gas as well. Okay, so let me zoom out. So I have, I have this, uh, this kind of uh, equation here, and then my delta H, I'm going to, uh, my, my, my enthalpy of my reaction here is negative 1.28 times 10 to the 4 kilojoules. Okay, so it's asking us um, if the temperature rose by 32.9, use the information to determine the uh, heat capacity of uh, the heat, uh, oh, sorry, of the of the uh, uh, the heat capacity of the calorimeter. So what we're doing here is first we have to um, figure out, again, we're given our sample of aniline here, and this is 6.55 grams, right? So this here is 6.55 grams and this here is the mass so which means and we, I, i'm given the molar mass of aniline as well which is 93.13 grams per mole so instinctively i'm going to uh, basically solve for the moles right so let's solve for the moles first so moles again i know it's mass over molar mass so this here is 6.55 grams divided by 93.13 grams per mole and this will give us um our moles of our um, of our aniline here. So 6.55 divided by 93.13 will give us a value of 0 0.070 here. So I have here, this is 0. Point, uh, here we go. 0 0.070 moles here. I'm going to erase this just for the sake of time for the sake of space actually, uh, 0 0.070. And after calculating the moles, what we can do is actually calculate our uh, our molar enthalpy of this reaction, right? So we know that our reaction here gives us, again, a negative 1.28 times 10 to the four kilojoules. So what we can solve for now is we can solve for um, basically how much energy is being released here, right? So again, we can say that uh, per mole of um, per mole of aniline here. So because again, I have uh, 0 0.07 moles and I have four of these guys here, I'm gonna have to multiply this number by four, right? To give us uh, our mole, our our, um, our per mole uh, uh, ratio for this guy here. So this would be 0 point, uh, 0 0.28 moles, I believe. Let's start out at four. Let me check that on my calculator. Yeah, 0 0.2813, I believe. But I'll, I'll just say 0 0.28. For now, and when this is in moles, again, this is uh, I have this is our in our kilojoules. So what I can do now is I can actually solve for how many uh, how many uh, kilojoules are released per mole of aniline here, because this is the reaction the, the delta H of the entire reaction, right? So I can say here the molar enthalpy or delta H here would equal delta H of the reaction divided by our moles, right? And this here is going to be a negative 1.28, or in this case, it's simply just positive 1.28 here. Um, actually, no, I'm, I'm including the negative here, sorry. 1.28 times 10 to the 4 kilojoules divided by, this one would be, I have 0 0.28 here. 28, maybe I'll take it to a couple more decimal places for us here. Um, 2813 moles here. And uh, these moles are going to cancel, actually, because I have uh, moles and moles here. So it's actually just going to be 0 0.28 to 1, 3. And then you can say, I guess I could say, uh, um, that, yeah, because these this, this units are these units are going to cancel out. And then I'm going to get a value of, this here would be, let's see, negative 1.28 times 10 to the 4, divided by... 0 0.2813 and the value of negative. Um, let's see here. Get a 
the value of, yeah, it's 10 to the four kilojoules divided by 0 0.5. think what is up here 0 0.07 sorry give me a second here 1.28 times 10 to the 4 divided by 4 times 0 0.07 give me 224 here so this so I think I, I, I mixed up my steps here so this um, so what I have here first is I'm going to um, or what they did here is actually they divided the um, the, uh, the the heat of reaction by the amount of moles to figure out how many uh, how much energy is being released per mole of the reaction here. So I'm negative point one point eight two eight times ten to the negative four uh, kilojoules. I'm going to divide that by four moles here first. So that's going to give us some value per mole of um, of uh, oh sorry that's positive four per mole of aniline here. So let's see, per mole of aniline, which is four divided by four here, which is simply negative 3,200 kilojoules per mole. And now what I can do is I can actually multiply this number because this is in molar enthalpy now, right? So I can say, and I know that delta H equals um, the molar enthalpy times the times the delta H of our, um, of the reaction here. So I can say, or sorry, not the, uh, this would be delta H divided by moles here. And what we have here is we have negative 3,200 here. Time, I'm gonna multiply that by our moles, which is 0 0.07 equals, would equal equal our um, our delta H. So this step is not, is, is this what, this step was required, but I they basically did it in the, uh, they changed the energy first and they didn't have to multiply that as well. So this would give us a value of times 0 0.07 of negative 224 here. So delta H here would be negative 224 kilojoules. And then basically if I want to find the heat capacity, I know that Q equals MC delta T, right? Q equals MC delta T. My Q here is negative 224 kilojoules. Um, and it's going to equal uh, the mass here, uh, which is, um, let me scroll up here. The mass here is 6.55 grams times C, I don't know C, I'm trying to solve for C, and the delta T here is 32.9, it, it rose by 32.9, uh, so this here would be 32.9, right? Um, and then I'm going to basically uh, algebraically solve for my C here, so I'm going to divide both sides by 6.55, so let me see here, 6.55 would give me a value of this negative 37.25, nine equals 32.9 times C divide that by 39 32.9 and this will give us a value of negative 1.13 uh, kilojoules which is not correct here because they got 6.84 so I'm just thinking about the math here the heat capacity equals total amount of heat divided by temperature change. So let me write that down for us here. So it's asking us C here equals Q over delta T, but they're missing the mass here. So this solution here is incorrect because they didn't actually include the mass of our um, of our aniline here. So this solution here is incorrect. Um, so I'm gonna continue with my solution here. C is going to equal, uh, and it can't, uh, specific heat capacity can't be negative, so it's gonna, I'm gonna take the absolute value of this here. So this is actually 1.13, 1, 1, 3 here. And this is going to be, let me just work on my, my units here. So if this is in kilojoules, it's going to equals grams uh, times, uh, times uh, uh, C here. So uh, if I want kilojoules in this case here, so I have, I have kg here, I have grams in C here. So you multiply that by kilojoules over grams times C. So this is kilojoules over grams times Celsius here. It's going to be my heat capacity for aniline here. So this here is my answer. And this solution here is incorrect. Uh, solution is incorrect. 
uh, and I'm going to copy and paste here. This is a wrong solution, right? So Q equals MC, uh, MC times delta T. Um, so therefore C would equal, I have Q divided by M divided by M DT here, T, which would equal uh, Q here is negative again, or 225 uh, uh, kilojoules divided by the mass here, which was 6.55 grams times 32.93 Celsius. And this would equal uh, 1.13 kilojoules, sorry, Kj. Kj over grams C. And this here is our solution for this problem here.